Hello and welcome to User Spotlights. I'm Laura with ClickFunnels and today I'm joined by James Curran. James is a certified funnel builder, owner of Coda Web Solutions, and he's known as the Lynchpin Funnel Guy. Welcome, James. Thanks so much for being my guest today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm super honored to be here. I'm excited to learn more about you. So can you start off by telling us a little bit about your background and what brought you to the ClickFunnels community? Absolutely. So um, my background is actually in software development um, on, the, on the website. So I've done full stack development for a long time, over 20 years. Um, and basically, my so my wife, um, she's a world-class coach. She coached for Tony Robbins for a number of years, coaching his platinum uh, clients. And when she decided to go off on her own, I was like, okay, well, I'm the web guy. Let me build you a site. And so I built her a WordPress site because that's what I thought you're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, learning about marketing, learning about what you actually need to do to um, build, you know, trust with your audience, you know, the whole no like and trust loop. Learning about all that stuff. I just fell into to dot-com secrets in Russell Brunson, Brunson's world. And um, from there, it just kind of like spiraled. I bought the first book, then I bought the second book, then I bought the third book. And I realized I should have bought bought the trilogy so I could have that fourth <laughs> book, but I never, I never got that. Um, and, and then, uh, we, we saw the, the virtual event last year, about a year ago. And I was like, Oh God, I think these are my people. And I didn't want to spend the money on it, but my wife, Alma, she's like, just do it, do it. We'll go all in. So we went all in with, uh, two CCX and, um, was doing that for a while. So I was helping, you know, I was building up her, her funnels um, and learning about the, the full suite of things that we needed to do, getting um, awesome coaching from everyone, from Vince and the crew there. And then at FHL uh, last year, which was my first FHL, because again, I'm, I'm new to the community. I was, um, you know, everyone was rocking and rolling. And then we got to the, the 2.0 talk and there was like amazing stuff happening and like so many cool features, but I was like noticing the people that are around me, they're kind of like, uh, 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 and I was like, are you not getting this or are you nervous? Uh, I was thinking like, I think people don't, A, don't really understand how valuable this stuff is, but B, might be a little bit uh, nervous about getting their stuff to the new platform. So I was like, okay, I think this is my opportunity. Funnel Builders is now in TCCX. I'm going to take advantage of that. Right. Um, all these people are like attractive character type people that are like doing their thing and selling stuff and, and helping people out. Whereas I am like, you know, I've, I've run entire software development departments before and support departments. And, um, you know, my last job was director of creative, creative technology. So I've been helping people, um, with technology, especially on the internet for a long time. So I was like, okay, all the pieces are aligning, even though this isn't what I thought I was going to be doing. I'm going to go full-time as a funnel builder and, and help all these people, you know, um, navigate technology and, um, make their lives easier. So that's what I've been doing since last year, late last year. Amazing. Yeah. And there's certainly a lot of people in our community and in our ecosystem that are high eyes on the disc and, mm -hmm. I'm a high C, hundred percent. Actually, my disc report is right there. So that's funny. I was going to ask you because a lot of these people um, are attractive characters. They have their own businesses, yes. or they want to start their own internet marketing business, and they need people like you. Like, there's more of them probably than there are people like you who are, are an expert funnel builder who they need to do all of the back end stuff. Like, they can be the face and they can talk about this stuff all day, but they don't want to do the technical stuff. Absolutely. And they can change the copy on the page, but getting that page there to have all the right structure and to make sure it looks good on mobile to make sure it loads quickly to make sure it links to all the different um, integration points, you know, to all that stuff, make sure that the, the Google analytics is on there and the pixels and all that stuff like that to me, like, that's just like what I do, especially as a high C. So I'm like a high C high D. Um, and that allows me to, to, you know, know what it takes to get the job done, get it done. Um, but also I'd say another strength is just being able to, to talk to people about this stuff. Like, you know, um, one of my, my first jobs was doing tech for a call center and I would like go fix people's computers basically, but I'd have a conversation with them too. At the same time, I've always loved that, like ability to talk to people and, and, and speak not in like geek terms, but in like regular human terms. I think yeah. that's one of the things that I bring to this world. That's amazing. So how long have you been working as a funnel builder and taking clients of your own? Uh, literally since October of last year. 
Um, I was in the the FHL group and then the whole your first funnel challenge group and people were like, hey, who's good at this? I'm like, me, I'm good at this. I'm doing this. And, um, you know, I, I do pick up things fast, but everyone was new to 2.0. So um, it it was a, you know, quick, quick out the gate to, to learn as much as I could, but um, have been serving clients ever, ever since. And um, I think one of the coolest experiences that I had was um, there was a speaker at the at FHL last year who just randomly went into the ClickFunnels group and said, like, I need someone who's an expert in 2.0. And I'm like, no one's an expert in 2.0 except for Todd, but I'll help you <laughs> out, dude. <laughs> and uh, that worked out really well. Awesome. So what, if you have one, would you say is your favorite type of funnel to build? Oh, man. Um, I have challenge funnels I've done the most, and they're kind of, there's there's like, it's like a 20 legged spider. There's so many things to to keep track of and everything, but um, I don't know. I've done so many of those. I, I, I have to say that's probably my favorite that and like just lead squeeze funnels because everyone needs a lead funnel um, and they are pretty quick to get up and running. Um, and it's often my first entry point when I'm talking to someone and working with someone, it's like, okay, let's build a lead funnel. Um, so you get to know how I work. I get to know how you work. And then usually we'll build the rest of them after that. So there's something special about that one for sure. Yeah. I think anybody can use a lead funnel, even if they don't even realize they have a business idea yet. Like just to start generating leads from a, a simple lead magnet is like so cool when you think about giving and generating ideas for other people who maybe don't know their full business idea yet, but being able to get the leads and kind of building it as they go. And I think that that's the power in lead funnels. I, I really think anybody can have one. For sure. Like literally, I just recorded a summit interview yesterday for, um, it's a company who is somehow manages uh, influencers and has a whole like um, collection of influencers. And I gave a talk on lead funnels to sort of like talk about the, the, the value of a bridge page of like, you know, these influencers are big into the, you know, the affiliate world, you know, so instead of just sending someone to that affiliate link, send them to your page, capture their information, build your list, segment it so that you have, you know, when you have future offers coming up, you'll be able to, to send email to that, that list that you own instead of worrying about, you know, if Instagram is going to shut you down or not. Yeah, totally. So how would you say working in software before this has kind of helped you as like, maybe it's a, a an extra tool in your toolbox or it's your superpower. What would you say is like the greatest thing about having history as a software developer um, with using click funnels and building funnels for others? Uh, there's a couple of things. So I've, I've used this metaphor before where like when you're writing code, um, it's kind of like intricate, like scalpel, like precise work, but working in a, a WYSIWYG editor, um, it's like, it's like instead of programming with, with, with Legos, you're programming with Duplo blocks, right? It's like you're, you have these bigger pieces that you're moving and um, that's not a, a knock on it. It means you can go faster, right? So being able to do everything on at the low level and understanding HTML really, really well, understanding HTTP really, really well, I really appreciate the ability to have so much of that stuff done for you so you don't have to write everything from scratch every single time. Um, but but I say like the, the programming background enables me to, when I do need to make a tweak, to go in there and just figure that out. Um, there's a couple things, you know, there's just things that aren't built in elements in ClickFunnels Classic or 2.0. It's like, okay, I want a, it's like a photo slider. Or I want this, you know, and to be able to meet the client's demands, you got to know how to how to bring that to the funnel. So the ability to generate that stuff is, is really cool. Um, I did one the other day for another 2CCX member for um, his membership site where he he does stuff with diving safety. And he's, so it's really important that people like read the content, take this quiz. And it's, we needed to gate the content. So you couldn't go to the next module of his membership until you pass this quiz. And I was able to find some code and, and, and tweak it and make it so it programmatically clicked the button, you know, just customizing things like that. So it really helps the, the users get what they want. Yeah, that's fascinating and and helpful, I'm sure, to our users, especially because a lot of them come to ClickFunnels because, you know, drag and drop editor and it's easier to use. But to have those uh, it, it, uh, more intricate things that they need to be doing to have somebody who has a background like you, I'm sure, is amazing. Totally. So you've been working in exclusively in 2.0, right? 
Uh, it's a mixture of both. Um, I, I work with clients that have a whole history of stuff. And some of my work has been porting it over to 2.0. Um, some of my work has been um, new 2.0 stuff and some of it's been uh, new classic stuff. So I'm, I'm really in both worlds simultaneously. So if you could compare the two, what would you say is the most powerful feature available in 2.0 for you right now? I get asked this question, question a bunch and it's always the, um, the style guide. The, yeah. the ability, it's like so ridiculous to be able to be like, Every headline, I mean, the headlines, the body text, the colors, the buttons, the shadows, the borders, the corners, define all that stuff once and have it be ubiquitously just deployed everywhere that uses that style. It's just ridiculous. And then to tweak it on the fly, be like, oh, actually, I want the line height to be a little bit more here. And then poof, it's everywhere. Yeah, that's that's like hours of the week saved compared to classic for sure. Really? Yeah. I have a lot of fun just playing around with it and I don't even necessarily set anything live, but the style guide, there's just so many different things you can play with. It's, it's fun. I have a lot of fun doing it. It is. And it's, it's the kind of thing where, um, when I take a new client on board, it's like the thing that brings their vision to life. Cause they usually have, um, like a brand book or a style guide that they made in Canva or something, you know? So to be able to take that and then, apply it to the 2.0 style guide and then just see even like a default template, but just in their font and colors, it's, it's kind of magical. Yeah. So do you have clients of all kinds, all different industries are most of them in the expert coaching industry? Do you have any e-commerce? Like tell us a little bit about the variety of clients you've worked with. Okay. Yeah. Um, a lot of coaches for sure. Um, uh, one of my my first clients was this is a pair of sisters who are just amazing people who are in the women's health space, um, and because they did a great job with a pressure launch, we were able to get like thirty k in two weeks with like a forty seven dollar ebook. So that was pretty amazing. Um, but yeah, coaches for sure. Um, I have a, a lot of clients that are in the Two Comma Club X coaching program. One, a couple of them are doctors. Um, one's a pharmacist. Um, it, it's really a, a wide range of stuff. Um, it's, it's some gym owners. Um, and, you know, it's it's anyone. The, the commonality that we have is we want to be online, connecting with people um, across the internet, um, adding value and helping them get from here to here, you know? So that's the common thread. Yeah. So do you, would you say you have a specialty in terms of what types of clients you serve, or would you say your special specialty now is creating the linchpin funnel? Well, linchpin funnel is definitely my, my focus. Like when I, this, this is, this is my first time being an entrepreneur. I've always worked jobs prior to this. So when I first got into this world, I was like, anyone, anyone, I'll take anyone, <laughs> you know? Um, but I've, I've passed the point now where um, I'm, I'm like, very, very busy, solidly booked, which is a blessing. Um, so now it's like, you know, I, I hear from people like um, Stephanie Dove Blake, where it's like, you know, focus on a specific niche and just serve people there. And um, nothing really jumped out at me. I was going to do just coaches, but even that's so wide ranging. So seeing where Russell is taking the entire community towards linchpin and linchpin is the way, and we all have it tattooed on our body somewhere. And like, we all drink the Kool-Aid. Um, I was like, okay, that's the opportunity because then it's only like a handful of funnels, right? It's like a video sales letter funnel, webinar challenge. You need lead funnels for everything for sure. Um, and then, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, application, if you're going to be doing some high ticket stuff uh, and then building membership sites, you know? So it's like, I don't have to worry about product launch, uh, summits, like all, there's like all the other ones, right? So this was a way for me to narrow it down, but still be broad enough and also be on that wave that is, I still, still think is still, still rising. I think at FHL this year, it's going to be a huge, like, like oh yeah, Lynch yeah. Totally. So you are in 2CCX, your inner circle, you're, you're drinking the Kool-Aid, you're a big part of our community. You know more about Lynchman Funnels than most people do in the ClickFunnels ecosystem right now. So um, what was it like for you when Russell taught about the Lynchman model and give us a little bit of a preview of like what it means for your business and helping build funnels? Um, well, initially it, it like, again, I heard about it at FHL. Well, there was a little 2CCX thing just before FHL, but I heard about it and I wasn't really my own business owner. Like Alma and I had a business, but I was mainly like her behind the scenes guy. 
Um, so I didn't really get it until uh, about a month ago. And I was thinking about my own, like I'm always getting, you know, every month I start from zero, right? And in Lynchpin, that's that's the, the remedy to that problem because, um, you know, Russell heard from, from someone else that if you don't have continuity, you don't have a business. So with Lynchpin, the whole thing is, you, you are delivering value every single month and you're getting that that revenue every single month and that changes your mindset. And we heard from so many people at Mastermind in Paradise, like, like Pedro Adeo and others where they're like, dude, it changes the game because you're more strategic. You're not on your heels. You're not like reactive. You're, you're, you're just having, you're thinking about how to serve your audience at a higher level. And I, I love that so much. So that's going to be my thing for that sort of made an end of this year is, is providing um, an ability for people to build their own linchpin funnels the way that I do them through a training course that I'm going to be providing to everyone. Wow. That's really cool. Exciting yeah. stuff. Yeah. So tell us where we can learn more about you and your business. And for anyone out there who is looking for somebody to help them with their funnel, where, where can they get a hold of you or learn more about you? Uh, well, I'm in the funnel builder marketplace. Um, you can always go to linchpinfunnels.com. Um, if if you aren't particularly into linchpin funnels and want to work with me anyway, um, go to websolutions.com is, is where you can find me. But I'd say come hang out with me in the Click Funnels official group on Facebook because I'm in there every day, giving love, high fives, helping people out, um, joking around, causing a scene. Like that's that's really where I love to be to, to have fun with the community for sure. Awesome. And we really appreciate you adding the value in there. It's great to see recognizable names that are helping our customers and our community just as much as our ClickFunnels uh, employees are. So we appreciate that. If you could give one piece of advice for somebody who is maybe just learning about ClickFunnels or our coaching programs or Russell Brunson in general and his methods, what would you say um, if they're just like you before this becoming an entrepreneur, want to make the leap of working for themselves, what would you tell them? Do what Russell says. Love it. Hashtag do what Russell says. I mean, it's it's super cliche, um, but I, I, I trust that dude. And um, uh, I, I feel like everyone who, it's it's more belief than like, coming from, from a, a programmer's background, I'm like, you know, very data analytical kind of, you know, skeptical at times. And so it took me a while to kind of get to the point, but now I'm just like faith over fear, hundred percent. Let's go. I'll figure out a way. Here's where I'm going. Uh, I'm freaking out. Oh, that's okay. We're going to get there anyway. And then just going ahead and, and actually doing it. I think the biggest thing that helped me though, was truly like burning all my bridges to like all the consulting stuff that I was doing for previous um, companies. I was like, okay, I'm done handing this off, done handing this off. And that unlocked a new set of resources for me to achieve my goals, um, especially in the, in the initial months. So that's my, uh, that's my advice. That's great advice. I've heard a few people now talk about burning bridges in order for them to not look back and go all in. And I think that's, that says a lot about anyone who's in this program and who's doing two comic club coaching is there is such a strong belief and there is so much faith over fear because you're investing so much in yourself because you truly believe that you're going to make a difference and you are, and you're going to be impacting so many other people and helping their businesses grow. And I'm really excited to see how your business grows. And I look forward to seeing you at Funnel Hacking Live this year. Totally. Yeah. It'll be great to meet in person. Great. Thanks so much, James, for being with me today. And I look forward to seeing you soon. Cool. Bye. Thanks.